And if you haven't seen Star Trek, the Star Trek II has the Wrath of Khan. And so we're trying to get into the negative reasons why you wouldn't buy a franchise. And I only have two, and I don't even really think those are cons. But I feel like that it would be appropriate uh, for us to go ahead and deep dive into the cons here. And so I'll go ahead and start on the first con while Marshall's queuing up our music here. Because we have an outstanding notable quotable for you. Because I really do. I do think, I think these cons don't even make sense. Okay, to have this mindset, in my mind, doesn't even make sense. But one is loss of control. Um, Basically, you lose control is the mindset a lot of entrepreneurs have. They say, man, if I buy a franchise, I can no longer decide on what my logo looks like. I can no longer decide on my business cards. I can no longer decide, uh, you know, where I'm located. I can no longer decide uh, how my menu looks. I can no longer decide about a lot of things about my business. And therefore, because I've lost control, I don't want to own a franchise. But to me, owning a business is just a vehicle to get from point A to point B. So if you can get from point A to point B faster as a result of starting your own business, then do it. But if you can get there faster from buying a franchise, then do that too. But I wouldn't worry about loss of control because I own my own businesses. I own many of them, but I don't really have control. Who has control? The customer has control. The customer is the boss. And the, the customer, you know, to quote Sam Walton, the customer can fire anybody from the top on down. So if I want to get crazy and, and produce products and services that the customers don't want, uh, they're not going to pay us. So, I mean, the customer is always the boss. And I really don't get into that whole control thing. Once you have the money in your bank account, you can kind of control what you spend it on. And that's where in my mind the control is. Now, the second one is when you sign, it's official. When you buy a franchise, that's the second con, when you buy a franchise, when you sign on the line and you buy that actual franchise, you're on the line. You can't get off the hook there. I mean, you are on the line with a, uh, you know, you, 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 you can't get out of it. I mean, you, you've, you've bought it. You have a small business loan in most cases. You've agreed. You've put your name on the line. You're saying, I'm going to, I'm going to pay back this loan. And that's a lot different. A lot of people want to start a, a business. They, I see a lot of people in the real estate industry, a lot of people in the insurance industry who are kind of going, you know, I'll get a license and I'll see if it works. And, and that's so different than when you start a franchise. When you buy a franchise, you're putting up some money. And so you're pretty much all in. You're, you're, you're committed. Do you, have, do you have that notable quote I, already? I think go? I got it. I think I got it. Oh, I'm so excited. I think, I think this is what you're talking about here. Yeah. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh man. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Get, I'm going to write this in my Wookiee journal, okay. and I'm going to move on. Oh, nice. Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold okay, on. here we go. I, we we have to make sure that we get this. We have to make sure this is so good. It's so good. This is all oh man. This is so good. Here we go. I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. I am Shakespeare in the flesh. Walt Disney, Nike, Google, but they are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. There's product here, and this is where you end up right here. If you can communicate this product, you can make money off the product. I can't believe we drove around all day and there's not a single job in this town. There is nothing, not a zip. Yeah, unless you want to work 40 hours a week. (laughs) See, that is the kind of notable quotable that I feel sums up these cons in my mind, is that there's people who just, they they don't, uh, uh, you know, if you don't want, if you're worried about losing control, you, you really shouldn't even own a business to begin with, because when you own a business, you're not in control of the business. You're you're you are uh, subservient. Your job is to serve the customers. The customers are the boss. Um, and then when you sign on the line, it's official. And if you're worried about, oh my gosh, well, what if it doesn't work? I mean, if you've done your research and it's an FD, if it's a, if it's a business that's SBA compliant, if they have a F, if they have an FDD, a franchise disclosure document, if they've sold hundreds of franchises, and you're worried about if it doesn't work out, what you're worried about is you're worried about you. You're worried about like, I don't have the self-discipline needed to succeed, which is why I think you need a franchise because they have a coach and they have accountability and they have systems. I mean, if, if you, you almost can't screw up a Chick-fil-A when you buy one because corporate micro manages you. They, they, they hold you accountable to their systems and standards. If you don't, you won't own a franchise too long. Trust me. So I'm just telling you in, in summary, Thrivers, if you have more money than time and you're not sure what business to do, I highly recommend that you buy a franchise. If you do not have a whole lot of money, but you have a lot of time, I recommend that you start a business with a low barrier of entry you can get into. But on the cons, 
I don't see any real reasonable cons at all. I, I just I don't understand why you wouldn't do it. To me, it's a no-brainer. I, I, I love it. I love the franchise system. It just makes sense.